Hey guys, so today I'm back with the next instalment of my house tour series. Now, I get requested to do home tours and kind of room tours so much and what I've been doing with the house that we live in at the moment is waiting until each room is renovated before showing you guys a kind of before and after. So a little bit of a backstory to our home. If you guys haven't been following us either vlogging or my home tour videos before, Mike and I moved into this house three and a half years ago and we actually bought the house at the very top end of our budget. So we moved in and the decor was very dated, really not to our taste. Um, there's a lot of kind of texture wallpaper, a lot of 80s kind of built-in wardrobes and things like that. Um, a lot of green carpet too, which is now gone, thank goodness. Um, but yeah, so we moved in and we really didn't like the decor, but because we'd bought the house at the very top end of our budget, we didn't have the funds to renovate the entire place straight away. We decided to go um, and get a kind of bigger house with a bigger garden instead of worrying about the interior so much to start off with and have it as a project. So we've been trying to do kind of one big renovation project a year um, and we started the second year we were in the house because the first year we got married and we didn't have the funds to do it. So we started off by redoing the kitchen and the bathroom which I have done videos on um, and then this year we decided to do um, some rooms in the upstairs of the house so we recarpeted all of the bedrooms in the house and we also renovated our bedroom and our main guest bedroom and then two of the other bathrooms. So we did our bathroom last year and then the other two this year. So we have had a lot of different projects on the go this year um, and we started in January. I updated you guys on Snapchat and on Instagram and stuff for a bit and then it has gone very quiet over the past few months because we've got to the stage where we're pretty much almost finished um, but there are a few things kind of outstanding. So I'm gonna be doing my bedroom tour today and then I'm also going to be doing the guest room tour and the guest room bathroom in one video um, which will be up at the end of September because we're still waiting for the curtains for that room which is they're just taking forever um, so anyway talking more about this room in particular this bedroom was one of my least favorite rooms in the house it was um, very kind of old-fashioned in its decor we had some really interesting um, patterned wallpaper which actually wasn't too bad it was more the border around the top um, which had red flowers on it we had a green carpet and then we had kind of green and cream textured wallpaper and then we had um, a red flower border we also had some bright detailed printed red floral curtains and we had um, a lot of built-in wardrobes as well which were a kind of yellow um, veneer wood kind of finish so um, really not my cup of tea or Mike's cup of tea the process of redoing it took initially about two months to get everything done all of the carpets ripped up all of the um, wallpaper stripped off which Mike and I did ourselves mainly Mike I'm not gonna lie also we changed all of the electrics so we put in instead of having a bizarre lighting setup we used to have two lights next to the window like two single bulbs next to the window and one just behind me over over there and we have replaced that with I think there are eight yeah eight um, spotlights or recess lighting into the ceiling which is just so much better it's so much brighter in here I'm also going to be showing you next door which is my dressing room and the kind of hallway to our kind of master suite that we have um, for our bedroom so I hope you guys enjoy the tour and let's get into it okay so walking through the door in the corner of the landing which takes you into our kind of master suite we have this little hallway area um, which I actually really like. It separates it nicely from the rest of the house, but it's actually kind of a waste of space, but it is nice. Um, so it looks like this. The colour we've painted this is Cornforth White from Farrow and Ball, if you guys are wondering about the paint colours. Um, we also changed all the radiators, so I know this is kind of boring, but um, we changed them for these column radiators, which are white, um, which I think just look a lot smarter. And then we have this little alcove here. Um... This is one of my favourite wedding pictures of me and Mike from my wedding and then a couple of candles. The carpet is, it's actually showing up quite brown on camera. Um, it's kind of a grey toned kind of neutral beigey colour. These gold um, dividers in between the rooms are not meant to be there. We're actually having antique brass finished ones but they haven't come yet and they've, they're just taking ages. If you're wondering what antique brass is meant to look like, it's meant to look like this which is what the light switches are. Um, so yeah, this is the little hallway and as you can see in there our bathroom is in there which um, I've shown in videos before and then we have our dressing room in there. 
and then our bedroom is in there. So I'll just show you really quickly in the bathroom, that's what the bathroom looks like. And then my dressing room is gonna be a pretty quick one. Usually this is covered in clothes because I'm always packing for something. If you guys watch my vlogs, you'll know what I'm talking about. But this is really just like an, another bedroom, to be honest. It has a single bed in it, but this pulls out into either two singles or a super king. So when we have like a lot of people staying over, we will use this room as an extra bedroom. And to be honest, I think when we have kids, this room will most probably be a nursery or a kid's room. So anyway, this is the dressing room for the time being. I do usually use it as a packing room at the moment because um, then I can keep our bedroom nice and tidy. We've got this little um, fold away bed which I actually bought online when we first moved into this house. And then also this little table is definitely temporary. Um, this is an Ikea one that we got for about 30 pounds I think they are. So we're not entirely sure what we wanna put there yet. Um, so we had this one from my flat when we redid my flat and I didn't want to put it back in there So we just have that there and then like a picture and some books and things um, And then oh, I want to show you guys the blinds and the curtains actually I'll show you this one because the prints really nice. I really like this It's like um, a kind of cream linen -y fabric with silver kind of embroidered flowers on it So that's the same on the curtains as well um yeah, so I really like those. And then on the windowsill I have this candle burning which is the Rituals incense one. And then this is actually a really nice picture. This is both of mine and Mike's mum's on our wedding day. And then I have this chair in here as well which I actually initially bought this for my um, dressing table and it didn't really go. I've ended up putting it in here because I think it goes a little bit better in here. Um, it's initially a little bit warm for the kind of grey tones but um i like it it's just got one of my bags sitting on there that needs to be emptied out um and then we do also have some wardrobes in here these were pre-existing wardrobes we replaced the doors and the knobs and painted them so this room is actually cornforth white as well so it's the same color as the hallway and then coming back through into here this is our bedroom um, as you can see, we're super lucky. We have a lot of space in here. Um, and I'll start off by kind of turning around and showing you guys what it looks like from this angle because the color of the walls is slightly different. This is skimming stone from Pharaoh and Ball, which is actually a little bit more of a kind of stone color. It's a little bit lighter. And we have this huge mirror on this wall, which was um, bought from TK Maxx. It was about 150 pounds, I believe. And then we actually have this gunmetal radiator in here, which I know, this will be a love-hate thing. I absolutely love this. Um, and yeah, I just think it's like a real statement radiator. I really like it a lot. And then this chair is from Swoon Editions, which I bought especially for this spot in the room. It's just actually usually it gets like my bag or my coat put on it when I come in. But um, the cushion on it is from the White Company. We've had these for a couple of years. They were on our bed before. And then the cupboards, as you can see, there's a lot of built-ins. I don't necessarily love the way built-in wardrobes look but they are so practical and I have a lot of clothes so we kept them we just replaced the doors and these are painted the same color as the walls so these are skimming stone as well and then moving back over here to look at the bed this is what the bed looks like this bed is actually from made.com and it's the Orkney bed I believe. Throw on it is a really old one. We need to replace this soon I think. We had this in our old house. It was from um, the White Company and then the cushions on here are all from TK Maxx over the years. The middle one I picked up a couple of years ago. These ones I picked up fairly recently um, to match the bed. The bedside tables are little mirrored ones with storage in them. I really wanted storage in the bedside tables because we used to have this giant built-in kind of thing all the way around the bed and it had loads of storage in it and it was really useful even though it wasn't very attractive um so i definitely would have missed the storage i found these ones um at sweet pea and willow the lamps are old they again are from tk maxx these are probably about five or six years old we had them in our old house burning my byredo treehouse candle which is currently my favorite and then on the other side of the room, Mike obviously has his little bedside table there with the TV remotes and stuff on it, of course. Um, we have this wash basket. I think Mike found this on Amazon. I'm not gonna open it up because it does have dirty washing in it, but um, it's actually sectioned into three. So you can have colors, blacks and whites, which is so useful. And then we have this little sofa. This again is from made.com. Um, I actually quite recently regret buying this because I spotted a really nice one for the same price in HomeSense 
and it's so much nicer and bigger and I think it would have gone better. The cushions are from BHS and then the little throws, the same one that I have in my dressing room is from TK Maxx as well. And then the dressing table, which is the most um, unfinished part of the room so far, is from Ocker. I love this dressing table so much. It's like um, an antique glass effect. Not very practical. It does get marks and fingerprints on it all the time, but I really love it. This is kind of unfinished because not only is the chair not the final chair, so this is just the one from my office as a stopgap until I find one that I really like, but we also don't have a proper dressing table mirror yet. So we have this guy here, which again is from TK Maxx. This is from the spare room. Um, and I want to get like a proper dressing table mirror. I also, you can see there's quite a lot of stuff, like I have my, I'll just talk you through this, I have like little jewellery boxes and then I have this clear Muji jewellery box on here, I have all my perfumes, brushes, some hair products, this bowl here, it's like a big shell, mirrored shell bowl that I keep kind of new products or products that I'm going to review, kind of bits and bobs there and then I have hair styling tools that we're using at the moment so the hair dryer is always there and then I'm using the um, steam pod at the moment I don't put those away I know all of the um, wires are ugly but there's just no point in getting them out like every single day and then we have our TV on there what I want to do um, over time is to get a little chest of drawers a similar kind of size to that um, to the wash basket to fit in the same space on the other side. So you can see down there we actually have like the same exact space. So I wanna get a little chest of drawers there so that I can store a lot of my makeup and my hair products and things like that. Um, and then hopefully have the TV on top of that and then move the dressing table to the center of the room and have um, a proper dressing table mirror there. So um, as you can see the views we have outside over the fields are really beautiful and the room is now so so light we also um, like I said before replaced the um, hanging lights with spotlights which has worked really well and then just to show you quickly as well the blinds that we chose um, are quite similar to the other room so they are like a grey linen material with the silver um, embroidery on it. I decided to get blinds instead of curtains partly from a cost point of view because um, to get curtains made for these windows I'll take a step back and show you like the size of the windows they are there's a lot of window it would have basically cost us a lot of a lot of money to put um, curtains in here but we also would have had to have had um, a rail potentially with a pelmet which I really don't like so I think the blinds look good they look very clean and very fresh um, and I really really love the fabric so looking at the room from the other side this is what it looks like so it's just very chilled out calm and just a little haven for me which is amazing because I haven't felt like that about my bedroom in such a long time we still have very bare walls in case you guys didn't realize there is pretty much no artwork on the walls except for in here where I have these two paintings that my mum gave me because I don't like to hang anything on the wall unless I really love it and I know that um, it's gonna stay there for a long time so really we're just waiting to find artwork that we really want to put up in our room so that is it for this tour I hope you guys enjoyed it make sure you subscribe if you want to see my guest room tour which will be coming up in about a month's time I'm really excited to show you guys that as well because I love our guest room almost as much that like when I go in there sometimes I'm like I kind of wish this was our room um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon bye